Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. In this video, we're going to look at some free tools that are going to dramatically increase the amount of control you have over the cybersecurity of your system. These are tools that I use all the time. You may have seen them on the channel, but in this video, we're going to list them, do a deep dive. It's going to be fun, so let's get started. This video is brought to you by Guardio. So I'm going to start this list with something called Auto Runs, which is a part of the Sys internal suite by Microsoft. This is an absolute must have on any new system. As all of you who've bought a laptop or computer recently know, especially if it's pre-built, it comes with a ton of stuff pre-installed. You may have built in software, adware, bloatware, whatever you like to call it. And sometimes you won't be able to go into settings and just uninstall these apps individually. And even if you do, they will leave traces. Now what Auto Runs does is it shows you a list of everything that's installed on the system and configured to run automatically. And that does not only include startup items. There are startup items, there are things in the context menu, there are things within the browser, there are scheduled tasks, anything basically that hooks into the system so it can use the part of the system to run is going to be listed here. And you can look at these categories individually as under log on, under explorer. So these are things that are built into the file explorer. You can see things built into internet explorer, schedule tasks, and what's more, if you click a magic button over here, it's going to do a fast total scan for each of these entries and give you the results. So this is also a very quick and effective way of identifying malware, because guess what? If malware is running on the system, it has to start up automatically in order to persist. And if you do happen to find something that you would like to remove or you don't want to run automatically, you can just go ahead and uncheck it, and that is going to prevent it from loading. In order to do that, you will have to run this as administrator. But once that's done, you can go ahead and basically uncheck anything you like. This is a great way to diagnose any issues you're having with your system as well. Just go ahead, uncheck some of the things that you think are suspicious, restart your system and see if the issue persists. And if you do happen to confirm that something is a problem, then you can go ahead and right click and directly delete the entry. This is an absolutely invaluable tool to have in your arsenal. Every time I get a new computer, this is the first tool I go through and check what's installed. And even if you don't remove anything, this can give you a much better understanding if any kind of automated behavior is happening. This can help you understand how it's happening and why. And also allows you to customize things to your liking. So for example, when you right click, there are going to be some settings here in the context menus. If you go into a folder, for example, and right click on an item. There are also going to be different options here. And basically all of those are coming from the Explorer entries here. So if you want to remove something like, for example, the OneDrive stuff, you can go ahead and uncheck these. You can control schedule tasks. Now on my main system, there are a ton of schedule tasks for updating various parts of my you know, ASUS suite. And what I like to do is disable everything that I don't have a use for. And that's why I love using auto runs. It's not only a security program, but also a program that allows you to take back control of various aspects of your computer. Now, the second tool we're going to look at is very similar. It's called Process Explorer, and this is basically a more powerful version of Task Manager. And just like Auto Run shows you everything that's configured to run automatically on the system, this shows you everything that's running on the system right now. And once again, if you like, you can scan everything here using Vars Total. So again, this is just a very quick and easy way to identify if there's anything malicious running on the system. You can quickly go through the listing and see if anything's detected by Vars Total. As you can see, the only thing I have on this system that's suspicious is Process Explorer itself, but that's because some false positive detections are there. Some engines being aggressive, detecting it because it's a security tool. But if you have malware, you're going to see a process here with 50 or 60 detections. And in that case, you can immediately right click and 
kill the process or kill the process tree, which is better for malware because it's also going to kill any parent process that launched it. You can also restart a process if it's kind of stuck or your system is hung up. You can suspend a process if you want to pause it temporarily. You can create a dump to get all the contents of a process. So this is useful for doing any kind of malware analysis. So if you want to dump all the contents of a malicious process, it can help you understand what it's doing and any data that was sending potentially. As mentioned, it's kind of like task manager, but for power users. Moving on, but sticking with the theme of the first two tools, we're going to look at PE Studio, which is basically an application that does the same thing that Process Explorer does for process and auto runs does for auto runs for PE files. So any kind of executable file that you have on your system that you've downloaded or somebody shared on Discord, you can analyze very quickly using PE Studio and you don't have to be an expert for it. You just need to drag and drop the file. And once again, this is going to scan through the file, give you any indicators that it has regarding malicious intent. And it's also going to do a virus total scan. Once again, a very quick and easy way of looking up any executable or exe file that you come across. Of course, you will need to have some understanding of the PE file structure to make the most of this. Anyone can use it to do a quick virus total lookup and just verify that there's nothing suspicious about a file. Now we're going to move to some tools that are slightly more advanced, but still useful. So this is HXD. This is a hex editor. And the most common use case for this is to look inside the contents of a file. So if we drag in any file, you're going to be able to see exactly what is written inside it. Of course, this is not supposed to be readable, but you can find some bits of text that might help you. But most importantly, it can give you an idea of the file structure. So if there's a lot of blank space or any kind of obfuscation that a threat actor has used to hide the file or artificially enlarge it, you're going to be able to notice that. So if you see a lot of dots in here, it just means it's free space. So if you come across a file that's 500 megabytes or a gigabyte in size and it looks like potential malware you open it and hex editor and then you happen to find that everything inside at some point is just blank then you know that the file has just been artificially enlarged to avoid detection by your antivirus product and you can actually delete the empty space and save the file and then scan it so Again, a great way to get around obfuscation techniques. Next up, we have some tools that are totally optional, but still a great utility to have. And that includes Komodo Firewall. This is one of the most advanced firewall programs that you're going to find on Windows. It gives you a lot of control. It shows you all of your inbound and outbound connections. It's got a great user interface. Plus, it's a security program. So it is going to protect you from things like malware. It is going to do the job of a traditional firewall. And it also has an intrusion prevention system or HIPS. And this is various different modes. By default, it's going to come in safe mode. But if you have issues with the alerts it's giving you, you can always turn it on to training mode for a while. HIPS in safe mode, though, is going to be good enough to protect you from a lot of malware. So it can serve as a bit of a security program to bolster your defenses. It's also got virus scope, which is going to scan your process for any kind of malware and can also be used as a network monitoring tool. So if you click on any of these processes, you can get a bird's eye view of all the connections that are being made from your system, the protocol being used, TCP or UDP. So again, if you see something suspicious here, like a malware or a Bitcoin miner connecting to a remote server, you can easily terminate it. It also gives you some powerful kill switch options. So if you go here and right click, you can go to block all and that's going to immediately block all network traffic. You can set it to safe mode for filtering. And also if you're installing this on a computer with a relatively inexperienced user and you don't want them to install any suspicious programs, you can turn on auto containment. And what this is going to do is sandbox any applications that run. Most applications that are not super sensitive will still run inside the sandbox and work, but they're not going to pose as much of a security risk because they will be isolated from key parts of the system. So this is a great all around tool. And since Windows comes with Windows Defender by default. If you're not up for installing a different antivirus, Komodo Firewall may give you the additional security you need. And it's free. Now, the next tool we're going to look at is an antivirus. Now, as I just mentioned, Windows Defender is free and it comes with every system now, but it's not necessarily the best. So you can definitely upgrade your security with a decent free antivirus. 
Of course, on this channel, you will find tests of every security program that's out there. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it nice and simple. And we'll talk about two free security options. So Bitdefender Antivirus Free is a good one. And the other one I would recommend is Kaspersky Security Cloud. Both of these are absolutely free and they're great programs. From a purely application security standpoint, I think Kaspersky is the more sophisticated tool. But Bitdefender is also a very easy set and forget tool that does not come with any additional software or bloatware. So if for whatever reason you don't prefer Kaspersky, it's a great option to go with. By the way, since I mentioned Kaspersky, I know some people will be asking me about whether or not it's safe to use Kaspersky products because it was originally founded in Russia. I've made a separate video on that, which you can find on the channel called Is Kaspersky Safe to Use? Now, moving on, the last tool I'm going to talk about here is Bitwarden. This is a password manager. And as you all know, you absolutely need to have a password manager if you want to have any hope of having secure passwords on the internet. What this is going to do is allow you to store your passwords securely. And once again, this is absolutely free to use, syncs across all your devices. So you can use it on your mobile phone, tablet, everything. It's going to autofill your passwords as well. It's very powerful. I love using it. And once again, Again, it's free. So if you're not using a password manager already, definitely go and check out Bitwarden. So I hope you found this list helpful. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. If I missed any of the tools you like, make sure you mention them in the comments. There are a lot of tools that I didn't mention specifically because they're paid and I wanted to just list free security tools, but we will be making more videos about specific cybersecurity programs. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to see that. Now time for our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Guardio, a web extension that you can add to any browser to protect you from cyber threats. Once installed, it's going to scan your browser for malicious extensions, notifications, information leaks, or hijackers. It can also look at your emails and figure out if they've been part of any data breaches. And once set up, it is going to actively protect you in real time against any malicious websites that you end up visiting. In order to demonstrate what Guardio can do, we're over at the wild side. We're at Fish Tank, which is a site that's a repository of phishing links. These are websites that are going to attempt to steal your credentials as you visit them. But we do have Guardio installed on this browser, so we'll see what it can do. And as you can see, the moment we try to visit the site, it is blocked by Guardio. And because it's based in the web browser, it doesn't really matter where the link comes from. It's going to stop you from visiting it, whether it was in a spear phishing email or you just stumbled across it in the search engine. And it doesn't matter whether it's on Mac or PC, which is pretty important because you can still get phished on Mac. Once installed, you will also have access to a personalized dashboard that's going to show you all the statistics. With Guardio Premium, you can monitor up to five emails for information leaks, so it's a great way to bolster cybersecurity for your entire family. These days, it's just as important to protect your online assets since everything's interconnected and digital. One of your accounts being compromised can lead to a domino effect, so it's crucial to keep monitoring your emails and passwords and make sure that they're not leaked anywhere. And Guardio can help you do that, so go ahead and check check out Guardio using the link in the description or go to guard.io and show them some love for sponsoring the channel. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.